MetLife Stadium, the newest stadium in the league, is the site for this NFC matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New York Giants. Hello, friends, and welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. Jim Nance and Phil Sims here on the scene getting set for kickoff. Phil, it's all yours before we get the game started. Well, you know, Jim, we had a chance to talk to both teams. We saw they're excited about playing this game. And when you get teams like this, it should be an exciting day. We've got a poor passing defense out on the field today against one of the premier passing attacks in the league, one of the best we've seen in years. Man, let's get the record book out, big guy, because you might have to look up some of those stats that you're famous for because they're going to put up some yards that you won't believe. There are going to be guys wide open all day long, and this quarterback, he's been sharp all year long. Why would it change today? So let's head down to the field now as it looks like kickoff is moments away The Buccaneers are about to get this game started with a return Tackle down the 22. Here comes the man onto the field who leads the Buccaneers attack. Quarterback Josh Freeman. Josh Freeman, he is one big quarterback. When you're that size, use it to your advantage. He stands in there and throws it very well down the field. Offense lines up here. First and 10. Doug Martin. Trying to power his way right up the middle. That brings the play to an end. Here's a look at the offensive unit that needs to get off to a strong start today. After running it, it's second down. Tossing it to the running back. Going to lose yards here. As we get a look at this defense, Justin Tucker, a player opposing offenses, always have to game plan for him. Yeah, it's hard to game plan for him, Jim, because he can line up anywhere. He'll line up over the center. The guards will get outside and try to speed rush you. Justin Tuck, very versatile. After that run, it's still third and nine to go. Out of the shotgun formation. Working that left side. Wide open for the catch. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. Michael Kanan ready to punt this one away. He's going to try and return this punt. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. And here's two-time Super Bowl winning quarterback out of Ole Miss, Eli Manning, taking the field. Eli Manning coming off the best year of his career, threw the football better than ever, uh, got it done in the clutch in the fourth quarter. Overtimes, when you needed a big play, Eli Manning got it done. They come to the line, and it's first down. Wait, hey. Bradshaw, hey, up the middle. And that'll be a gain of about two. When you look at the New York Giants, the emergence in 2011 of Victor Cruz, we expect him to be a factor today. Victor Cruz is just like you, Jim Nance. He is quick on his feet and got a lot of wiggle. He can make it happen, but what a surprise. What a find for the Giants out of the University of Massachusetts. He has turned everything around for this football team. This play will hold up. He's inbound. Touchdown! Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, 
They have feet like ballerinas, and even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches. Giants getting set for the extra point. Add the extra point, the kick is good. Giants ready to kick it away. at the 29-yard line. Buccaneers ready to take over the football. It's first down as they head to the line. To the ground here. Well, this team is definitely committed to the run. There's no doubt about it. And when you're committed to the running game, hey, a lot of them are not going to work. That's okay. Stay with them. Down and nine. Flip to the outside. They tackle him for a loss. Now third and ten following the run. They'll go shotgun here. To the ground. Oh my gosh, when you take those blindside hits, the first thing you think of as a quarterback when you get up, did somebody make a mistake or did I make the mistake not seeing that guy coming? Michael Kanan ready to punt this one away. Signals right away. Fair catch. That returner, when he goes to the sideline, I promise you that special teams coach is going to rip him a new one. Hold on to the football. Lucky to get it back after that fumble. First down, offense readying for the snap. Snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun. He'll throw it over the middle, under pressure and incomplete. Here's a look at the defensive starters and a good look at the secondary, a group that could be the difference in this game today. That leads us to second down. Obvious running play here out of the strong eye. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run.
Now third and five after the run. Boy, is that... This is a five-step drop back. The quarterback throws to the right. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first, and now we've got a fourth down situation. Steve Weatherford, who specializes in hang time excellence, is now in for the punt. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. And this will be the home to Super Bowl 48, MetLife Stadium, East Rutherford, New Jersey. They'll call on Weatherford for the punt. this one and he's brought to the ground Buccaneers get ready to start their drive nickel formation here for the defense now first and ten looking for an open receiver on the right well, that's the new NFL. This keeps going behind the line of scrimmage and see if the athletes can catch it and make some yards. None there that time. A loss of a couple yards. It's a two tight end formation. Second and ten. Here's the handoff to Doug Martin. It's third down coming up. Quarterback. Taking the snap from the shotgun. Looking down the field. When you take the blind side hit like that, oh my gosh, do they hurt. And you get up, you make sure you're okay, then you try to find out who's responsible for you getting you hit like that. Canaan ready to punt this one away. He wants to return this one. He's brought down at the 46. First down on the way. Wasting no time. Here's the toss to the outside. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line.
Second and four following the run. Trying to get it outside before the defense is set. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Up the middle. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. One yard loss on the play. All set to punt here. Signal for fair catch. And we've reached the two minute warning. First down coming up. Takes the staff from the shotgun. Looking across the middle, and that's a gain of nine. You do not have to be as accurate as a quarterback when you're throwing against zone defenses. There's nobody close to knock it down. So that time, not a great throw, but because it was his own defense, he still gets the completion. Intercepted by Antrell Roll. Bringing the play to an end. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. down here Good. out of the gun the throw to the left Giants get a first down and he's pushed out of bounds well this man-to-man -man coverage bad job by the defense the defensive back so slow no chance of keeping up with the wide receiver Let's see how they back up the big play here. Eyeing that left side, and it's knocked down. Well, you want to put all the pressure on the quarterback to make really good throws down the field, play tight man-to-man -man coverage. It takes perfect throws to get completions. Not there that time. Failing to complete that one, so second down here. Drop back, shotgun formation. The quarterback throws the pass. Tackles made. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. That timeout by the offense.
third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. The formation here, shotgun. Defense wraps him up. That's going to be a timeout charge to the offense. Defense comes out of the nickel from the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Giants in for the score. Well, you got a lead to drive down the field to score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. The Giants getting set for the extra point. Inside of the upright. The Buccaneers are about to get this game started with a return. for the defense here. First and ten. Safety valve time. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. Nobody but the quarterback in the backfield here. First down and 10. Throwing now to his left. And he's brought down right at the 43. Second down here from the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. And it's thrown incomplete. The safety is up in the box right now. From the shotgun. Challenging the defender to the right side. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Michael Kanan ready to punt this one away. Yeah. 
He thinks twice about returning this one and signals fair catch. The Giants are getting set for their next possession. The offense is backed up. First and ten. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. This will be the last play before halftime. That does it for the first half. Buccaneers trail in this one.